So Toya was shocked by seeing Francesca panties. He didn't know where he should look. As a result, Toya was feeling awkward by seeing her without a skirt. Then Francesca said she had a skirt, and she was hoping Toya would touch her a little bit. After that, Toya wanted to know more about the garden, and Francesca showed him the Garden of Babylon. Francesca also told that the garden was created by Professor Regina Babylon, and it's a floating island. Suddenly, Toya's pet Sango said that the girl isn't a human. Toya learned that Francesca is an android assembled from biological components and machine parts. Also she can't give birth, but she is capable of intercourse, and she is still a virgin. Afterwards Francesca said that she recognized him as suitably compatible. As a result, Toya was named to be her new master. Toya was chosen because only people with all affinities can activate the portal. Followed Toya learned that he wasn't chosen by possessing all affinities, but rather by his majesty Riz Aura. So Toya became the new master of the perverted Francesca. Meanwhile the other girls were playing on the beach, and Yahe spotted a crab. She tried to catch the crab and Charlotte tripped. Suddenly she was hit by a huge wave and the crab went into the huge boobs of Charlotte. So Yumina and Elsie were jealous of Charlotte's and the other girls for having big boobs. Followed Yahe said her breasts are just collecting sand. Then Lean showed up, and Charlotte realized she had something important to do. Followed then, they were worried about Toya because he had been in the ruins for a very long time. Suddenly Toya opened a portal and he showed his girls the Garden of Babylon. Lean said that the room looks similar like the ruins of the ancient Parthenos civilization. After that, Lean noticed the girl next to Toya. Lean asked him if the girl next to him is his new wife. Lindsay was immediately angry and Toya tried to clear up the misunderstanding. Toya explained that she is the owner of the garden and she disagreed, saying the ownership was transferred to her master Toya. She then said that Toya is her beloved husband. She lied and the girls were angry with Toya. So Toya didn't manage to clear up the misunderstanding and the girls found out that Toya had seen their panties. As a result, the girls were shocked and Toya was still trying to clear up the misunderstanding. Then Toya was confronted and he was scolded by Lindsay to be a pervert. Lindsay was very jealous and shocked by Toya's fetish for panties. Lean then offered him to see her panties too. Toya refused and he was afraid by Lindsay. Then Lean ended the argument between the two and Yumina supported Lean. So they all went for a walk and Yumina asked if the three girls remembered their conversation. The girls recalled talking about Toya that they are all have a crush on Toya because he got the Majesty Riz power. So we see that all the girls blushed when they thought of Toya. Yumina said that Toya is a special man and she didn't want to be selfish and would share him. She then suggested that all four girls marry Toya and the girls were embarrassed and didn't dare to continue the conversation. So Yumina ended the conversation first because the girls weren't sure about their feelings. Back in the present, Yumina asked if they are now aware that they are all in love with Toya. Yumina knew that all three of them always want to be near Toya and they always get nervous by seeing him. The girls admitted that they are in love with Toya, and they blushed. Then Yumina decided that all three girls would marry the Riz Master Toya too, and they all thought about their marriage with Toya, and how their marriage would be look like. The girls wanted to marry Toya, but they were all nervous about becoming Toya's wife. Meanwhile, Toya talked to Lean about the Garden of Babylon. Lean was intrigued by the garden's story, and Toya said that the professor, who created Babylon, is a pervert. Lean then learned that there are many several areas drifting in the sky. They are controlled by Francesca's sisters, and Toya was very confused. So Lean explained to him that Babylon was an island that divided and flies everywhere in the world. After that, the other girls showed up, and they learned about the nine floating islands that together form Babylon. Followed, they decided to find the other floating islands, and Toya realizes that his phone couldn't locate the islands. So his only choice was to find the magic circles like before. Then Lian asked what Toya is planning to do with Francesca as her new master. Followed then Francesca said that she wanted to be Toya's servant. Toya accepted and she wanted to register Toya as a master. Then she kissed him all of a sudden. The girls were shocked by Toya and Francesca's passionate French kiss. When the kiss was over, Toya was frozen and blushed. So Yumina was angry as she had never kissed him before, and Francesca said that was the only option to collect Toya's genetic samples. Suddenly Lindsay stand up, and she made a love confession to Toya, followed by a French kiss. In the evening Toya and his girls returned to their mansion and Francesca was hired as maid. Then Toya lay down in his bed and he had to think about Lindsay's confession of love and her passionate kiss. Suddenly, Yumina knocked on his door. She wanted to talk with Toya about the kiss. Yumina was angry at Toya 
because they are engaged, and she hadn't gotten a kiss yet. Toya was surprised that Yumina wasn't angry, because Lindsay made him a love confession. She then said that everyone could see that Lindsay has a crush on him, and Toya apologized for not noticing her feelings. Then Yumina said that she didn't mind, because nobles have normally more than two wives, but now he has to kiss and hug her too. So Toya made amends, and he kissed Yumina on the mouth. Yumina was happy about their kiss, and she asked him about his feelings towards Lindsay. Toya replied that he thinks Lindsay is cute too. Suddenly Toya said that he was unsure of his feelings, and couldn't say who he ended up choosing. Then Lindsay appeared. Lean cast her invisibility spell to make her invisible. Lindsay overheard their conversation and she cried, because she didn't answer to her confession. Toya then apologized to her and said he loves her too. After that, Yumina suggested that Toya should make Lindsay to his fiancé, since it's normal for kings and nobles to have multiple wives. Lindsay was happy that the misunderstanding was cleared up, and she ended as Toya's fiancé too so it was decided that both girls would become Toya's wife. The Rizmaster Toya was surprised, and the two wanted a goodnight kiss. So Toya and his two fiancés went to sleep. In the next morning, Elsa showed up. She wanted to talk with Toya outside of their mansion. Yahe was also waiting for Toya, and the two said they found out about Lindsay's engagement. The two girls then challenged Toya to a fight. The loser had to grant the winner a wish. So Toya was asked to blunt his sword. After that, their fight started and Yahe attacked Toya with her samurai sword. She was instantly defeated by the rubber bullets. Meanwhile, Elsa attempted to attack Toya, but she was overwhelmed by his immense power. Toya said she can give up, but she refused. Suddenly Elsa said that she and Yahe are also in love with Toya, and Toya was out of ammo. As a result, Toya lost the fight, and the two girls confessed their love to Toya. Toya was surprised to get more confessions, and he didn't understand anything. So the two wished that he would marry them both too. However, Yumina explained to him the reason for the fight, and Elsa wanted an answer to her confession of love. Toya didn't know how to answer, and he wanted more time to think about their marriage. Then we see Toya in the Garden of Babylon, he told Francesca his problem. Toya loved all four girls, but he wasn't sure if he could be a good husband for all his girls. Suddenly Francesca said that she had a message from Professor Regina. Toya was able to talk to her on his phone through the new Riz Tinder app. She then made a joke and showed him her panties. Afterwards, Regina told that she had a tool to to see into the future. She then said that the future are changing every time because the phrase's appearance are unexpected. Finally, the professor gave him some advice and tried to help him with his problem. After that, Toya visited God and Toya told him about his problems. God encouraged him and gave him the same advice as Professor Regina. Toya was still unsure and God called the goddess of love for help. Toya learned that she also looks at Toya's life and she always supports people in love. The goddess of love said he doesn't have to worry too much about it, and Toya was encouraged by her. Following this, the goddess of love said that she was responsible for the perverted situations. When Toya got back to his mansion, Kohaku should call the girls. Then Toya said that he doesn't want to get married yet. The girls were immediately shocked, but Toya said he's afraid he can't make them happy because he is very young. So Toya promised that he would get engaged to the four of them, but he didn't want to marriage now. He said that they need to get to know each other more, and if they don't lose interest in him in the years to come, he would like to marry all four of them. The girls said they will love him forever, and they accepted his decision. As a result, Toya had four fiancés, and they all wanted a kiss from Toya. That's how Toya wanted to kiss Elsa first, but she was too shy and knocked him out. Lean and the others watched out the window and enjoyed the great show. Suddenly Francesca said that according to the professor, Toya will end with nine women in his future life. 